Hi guys and welcome to my What I Feed My Horses video. So this has been really requested that I show you all what I actually feed my horses. Now I have six horses if you don't know. They all get fed very similar but I'll go through each of their feeds. So we feed our horses Denji Healthy Tummy and this is a complete fibre feed. So the reason we feed this is because our horses are very stressy which means they are more prone to gastric ulcers. So I did my dissertation on equine gastric ulcer syndrome, also known as EGUS, and one of the things that we should do to reduce gastric ulcers is to reduce the reliance on cereal-based feeds and move to more fibre. Feed also contains other things that are believed to be um, antioxidants and things that will help um, with their digestive tract, but really it's just the fact that you're feeding fiber you're free from molasses and preservatives it's a much more natural feed than giving them a really concentrated feed um, which is going to exasperate any gastric issues so here we have the horse's buckets we have danny's taffy's chilies charlie's lucy's and caramels so the amount of healthy tummy our horses get is in accordance with their age and the amount of work they get. So Chili has three feeds a day, whereas the others only have one, hence he only has a small amount per feed. Caramel literally gets a tiny amount because she doesn't actually really need any feed um, in terms of concentrated feed that she's fed mainly on hay and grass. Then this is Danny's. So Danny gets quite a bit with him being an elderly gent and so does Taffy just because those two are our elderly boys and we struggle to keep weight on them as much. So next we have Lucy. Lucy gets quite a bit because obviously she's in a lot of work. And then Charlie just gets a small handful just because he's not in much work at the moment. And he's also generally quite a good doer and doesn't need much concentrated feed to keep any weight on. So our elderly horses also get top spec senior balancer. So it's again low in sugars, low in starch um, and the reason that we feed this is just for that extra fibre and because it's actually formulated for the senior horse which obviously my horses are getting a little bit older now so there are certain things in that that they need that you wouldn't get from a normal feed. So a supplement that we feed to Lucy and Charlie is Cortiflex. Now before anyone jumps on the supplement comments, I know most horse supplements have not been tested in equines and are actually tested in different species so most of them don't work and it's a waste of money. However Cortiflex does contain some ingredients that have been clinically proven to actually help with joint health and comfort. So for example, it includes collagen and protein isolates which have actually been proven to maintain healthy cartilage and joint fluid in the horse. Um, so that's why they're fed. Charlie gets it because he has early onset arthritis and Lucy gets it because we've had issues with her knee previously um, and it was actually on vet's advice that we try them on Cortiflex rather than going for any sort of harder medicines. So another thing that my horses get is folic acid or folic acid, however you want to pronounce it. So folic acid is a B vitamin and it's actually a man-made form of folate. So this is given to our horses because we had blood tests on Lucy and Danny and both of them were borderline deficient in certain things. So our vet recommended that they started a course of folic acid. So they get four tablets each a day. So these tablets are just crushed up and popped in their feed. So next up on the drugs we have Pyroton which is an allergy relief tablet. So Chili has to have 30 of these a day so that's why he gets three feeds. So we put 10 in each feed a day. He has one in the morning, one in the afternoon and we're doing the night one now. So the reason that Chili has these is because he has very severe allergies to certain things like types of hay, types of grass, to dust, to ants. You name it, the boy's allergic to it. So that is why he is on a lot of Pyroton. 
Next up we have ventipulmin which is another drug. This one is used to open the respiratory passage of the horse and help clear them of mucus. So this is given to Taffy because he has a ongoing respiratory issue and we also give a little bit to Charlie because it can be beneficial in some allergic respiratory diseases. So we thought that Charlie was coughing due to mold spores in his hay. Um, so that's why he's given it and Taffy has chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD um, which is why he has it. So the last thing that goes in all the horses feed is a small scoop of turmeric each. Now this is my mum's choice, um, obviously me and my mum share the horses. Personally I wouldn't put it in, I don't think there's any real scientific evidence behind turmeric really doing much. Um, I don't think it'll harm the horses in any way but it's my mum's choice so it goes in the feeds. Um, so turmeric, there's been many claims over the years that it does many different things from being an antioxidant to helping with joints to helping with coat to helping with skin allergies and stuff like that. There's not really been any scientific studies to prove it and me being a little animal scientist over here wouldn't waste their money on anything that hasn't been scientifically proven. But as I say, each to their own, it's not doing any harm so I'll leave my mum to it to add turmeric to the feeds if she feels she needs to. So the horses feeds are made up in the morning but they're not fed until the afternoon so not all of them get water added now. We only add it to Taffy and Danny's and a little bit to Chili's if he's having his morning feed now. So Taffy and Danny's get quite a bit of water and they get theirs mixed because they have to soak. The others I just mix up the feed and then they're popped in a bin. But with Taffy and Danny, the reason they have to have it soaked is because they're older boys and they are fed a pellet. Now those pellets take a while to soften. So we have to soften them because they just cannot eat it. They can't break down the pellets if they're still hard because their teeth aren't what they used to be. They can't create a bolus and then they can't effectively swallow it. So we soak them so that they can swallow it easily so they don't get choke. Um so it's much better for them so that's why their feed is soaked and then the others as I said just pop to one side ready for mixing tonight so once all the feeds are made it's just time to pop the lids on the feed bins and then I go and I clean the stirrer that's obviously been used on the wet feeds just so that that's nice and clean for us mixing the rest of the feeds later on and then I just pop the water and the stirrer back ready for tonight so that's the feed done. Hopefully that answers everyone's questions because I get a lot of comments asking if I can show you what I feed my six horses. And please remember, don't just feed your horses what I feed mine. Always seek a nutritionist or a veterinarian's advice when it comes to feeding, especially with supplements and any medicines. So that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give it a like and subscribe if you have. And I will see you tomorrow at 12.